All right, let's go over uh, crude oil. I got gold right beside it also. We're in a range market in both markets now. We know how to trade trend. Trend is very simple. We have two setups. We have a retracement setup, and we have a momentum setup. There's two setups with the momentum setup, and there's one setup with the retracement setup. That's with trend markets. Typically, three days out of the week, you'll get trend. What do you do with chop, though? If we're in a chop market, I don't want to cover up the trading we're looking at now because we're in range. But let's look at these two markets right here with market profile. What you want to do in a range market, and how do we determine if it's range? The best way to determine, when you look at your market profile chart, you're going to be, you're going to be sideways. Meaning, we don't use moving averages for support and resistance, but if they're pretty much uh, horizontal across the horizontal across the chart, then you're in a range market. So typically when that happens, you'll be in a chop mode or in between market profile. So what we want to do is we want to trade the outer edges of profile. We want to sell the high of high value area, and we want to buy the low of low value area. Now, if you look, that's crude. If you look on gold, the same thing this morning. We're going to sell high value. Just had a nice little bounce off of to the exact tick on my two profiles with positive market delta. The best way to do it is this, is that what we want to do is buy and sell these levels, these market profile levels on the first and second test until we what? Until we break out. Once we get outside of red or green, then we want to get involved with retracement trading or momentum trading like we always do, always do with trend. And we have tons of videos for you guys to read on that. So when you're trading range, there's two market profiles you want to look at. You want to look at the volume profile, which is a solid red, and the developing profile, which is the thin green, or thin red and thin green. So those are the two most important profiles. Don't be concerned so much about the dots. Those are price. Use those for confluence. But I want to see when my trades are stacked. When these two green levels or two red levels are stacked in range markets or, or chop markets when they're stacked within a couple ticks of each other. That should turn the market all by itself. And you can see it stopped at the exact tick here on gold again because we're in range. You can see both stack levels. So if I look at crude today then, the high value has called the high. The low value is now called the low. If I look on gold, it got into high value called the high. Low value stopped at the exact tick called the low. That's how you want to trade chop markets. I don't want to trade Fibonacci retracements. I do not want to trade arrows if I'm in range. If I'm flat, I'm going sideways. You can see we just crossed down on both of them. We're just flat with the longer little magenta pink MA there. If we're flat, you're going to tell you if you're in between market profile, you want to stay away from all arrow trading. Now, what will give you a heads up is when you break out of range also this morning are these symmetry dots. You notice when we hit market profile today, we also hit my sim dots up here. That's a great short this morning for you morning traders. And then we also hit low value area on crude. You can see we also hit our symmetry dots over here. So you can, these charts, these two over here work hand in hand together. You can really just use, use these, two, these two charts to determine if you're in range or chop by looking at market profile first, seeing where the high value is on the developing and volume. And also look where your symmetry dots are over here because they're going to tell you, they're going to give you extra support and resistance. So you can buy the lows and sell the highs. Now what's going to happen is, is that we know to stay away from arrows. Even this arrow right here that fired off, I do not want to take this trade because I'm in between profile and a flat market. You can see how sideways we are. I don't want to take these arrows. Even if, now if it was in a downtrend, I would sell that in a heartbeat because that's symmetry dots with an arrow, but we're in a flat market. What I want to see is, I want to see us get away and break out of symmetry and break out of profile. So this morning's next trade, we're going to break through symmetry. We're going to break through low value area. And once we get that, you're going to have a breakout. And once we see a breakout, we're going to look for a simple ABC short. We're going to retrace, look for the first arrow. Typically it happens on the three sim. 
Fibonacci arrow, and you're going to look for a short like that. Or right here, you'll see it break. You see the first retracement, arrow of fire on the three or five sem. Typically, it happens on the three, and you get an ABC short. Now, it can happen the other way, too. Let's say we break out of 75. We break out of 75, the pre previous market profile up here. That's where it has resist resistance. Then simply, on a range market, if we want to go back into trend, we're going to have to break. We're going to have to retest, and then we get going. It's happened for 33 years, the same exact setup for range or chop markets. Very simple. Very easy way to trade range. You sell the high, buy the low. You, you avoid Fibonacci retracements. And then you look for a breakout, and we get back to work in trend again. So that's all we'll look for this morning. We'll retest, get an arrow, and then we get back into a trend market. All right, now the other thing you don't want to do, so we know not to take arrows, Fibonacci arrows, in flat markets. Don't do it. You're going to beat your head against the wall. You're not going to go anywhere. The other thing you don't want to do is this blue line is the most voluminous traded right here. The blue line is the most voluminous traded. You do not want to trade that at all in range. What you want to do is you just want to black this out in the middle. Don't fiddle in the middle. And I don't even, I don't even want to trade that level. I do not want to trade the middle. What I want to do is I just want to trade the... Um, I want to trade the outer edges. So when I'm trading, I look at like this in range. In range, I don't even look at the middle chart. doesn't mean anything to me. This means nothing to me. I want to sell the high, buy the low. And once I do that, once I break through the high and get away from it and retest, then I'll jump on retracement trading. Or if I break through the low, then I'll look for retracement, and then I'll look for retracement selling. So we always go over trend charts. We never go through retracement trading. So it's very important you understand that is you want to avoid the middle because the middle is where you're going to get stopped out in flat markets. A lot of traders that don't have market profile, that's the problem they have on trading. So if I look at gold, it's a beautiful gold trade on my methodology. Look at that low. It caught the low to the exact tick because we're in a range market. But you don't trade the control point. We're smarter than that in a range market. We don't trade the control. We trade the outer edges. You can see what they're doing with the outer edges. We don't trade this middle. We trade the outer edge. The outer edge is where it's at. And we want to just trade the outer edge until we break out. Sell the high. Buy the low. And if you do that, it becomes very apparent to you and very clear what the market tries to do. It's caught the high now in high value, and now it's caught the low. See, by avoiding the middle. See that? Look at that. Look how clean that is. Look how clear that is. Look what they try to do. It's been working for 33 years the same way. They sell the high. They buy the low. They just bounce it off the exact tick again. Look at that. You think this is, that's by dumb luck? They just bounce to the exact tick, to the exact tick, and right here within two ticks of the high, you think that's just lucky? For 33 years, the same exact setup? That's called order flow. These are electronically traded markets. This big, thick red line and thick green line is volume coming from hedge funds, prop firms, right? It comes from banks, institutional traders, algorithms, and it puts it all together. What you want to do since you're flat is just avoid the middle. Now, what we'll do on the next setup, you buy the low, it stops at the exact tick to the tick up here within two ticks on gold here. What we want to do is going to wait for a breakout then, right? And once you break outside this range, you're going to get away from it, retest it, then you get back on arrows. That's how you use market profile. In trend, I use market profile for confluence on my arrows. That's all you need to do is watch my arrows in my, in my trend filter when we're trending up or down. It happens about three days a week on any given market. In chop, you don't take these arrows. You don't touch them with a 10-foot pole. Look at them right here. Look at these arrows on crude right now. Look at them firing. You don't touch these things. We're smarter than that. We're more educated than that. We know not to take retracement arrows. They're not going to give us anything. So I know when we break out, a crew is going to be right here. I know that. I know because my market profiles work for 33 years, and I know if I break out of here, we break out on crude. If I break out of here, we break out on crude. Then we get back into retracement trading. But I'll take these arrows. We don't take retracement trading. We don't take moving average crossovers, all that baloney. We know we're in range right now in gold and crude. And market profile dictates that. Now look at crude too. 
look at crude. They sold the high and they bought the low. So you avoid the middle. Right here, avoid the middle. Don't even look at the middle. Don't worry about the middle in range. Then when we break out and get away from my two most important profiles, my thin green, thin red, thin thick green, thin red, my volume, then we get back on arrows. Now we're ready to go. It's very important you understand that, what not to do when you trade. Traders have so many lagging indicators. They trade with so many lagging indicators. They don't understand that the market tells you what to do. The market tells you. It lets you know exactly what to do every day. It can only do two things. Either we trend or we chop. It's not hard. Either we're in a trend market where you just sell retracements with my Fibonacci arrows or we're in chop where we don't touch the arrows, sell the high, buy the low, then wait for the breakout. That's all we do. You've got to remember that because we have a very complex, sophisticated system that's very easy to implement when you know what you're doing. And when we're in chop, avoid the middle. Avoid this middle. Do not look at this middle. Do not try to trade this middle. Avoid this right here. Sell the high. Buy the low in the first and second test with negative and positive market delta. It's a small stop. Two ticks above the swing low or swing high. Buy the low, sell the high. That's what the order flow does. It's worked for 33 years, same way. Then let it break out. Then we get back on arrows, retracements. Watch your SIM dots to help you out. 